Hi everyone again, as you realize I had to give a break of my double bass drumming lessons and I'm sorry for that. That's because some albums that I've recorded and some shows that I've played and I couldn't find much time to sustain my lesson videos. But here I am now and lessons will continue until the last of my series. If you remember, I mentioned one of my previous videos which is types of pedal techniques. I said that I'm going to show slide techniques in a separate video. So that's the one. I will try to explain about the slide technique logic as much as I can, but I don't want to extend this lesson so much because there are tons of videos about this topic on YouTube. Even slide technique tutorials may be the easiest source to find on internet. But the unique thing in this video will be that I'm going to categorize the slide techniques by their dimensions. You can think of these groups like in Cartesian mathematics, X, Y and Z. So the first group is linear slides, let's say X. This is a basic slide technique that you hit the pedal from the middle and then your foot goes further and hits again from the front side of it. Like this. Or reverse, from front to back like this. But it's much more logical to do it from back to front. And rather than practicing this technique on a rigid floor, it will be much better for you to practice it on a pedal. Because this technique needs an adaptation to pedal response. And for these basic two strokes, just uh, do not try to work it isolated, like um, just playing with your foot. Like this, tens of minutes. Ok, you will first try to analyze it like this, but later practice it with simple grooves, like... or entertaining simple samba groove. The main idea is to import the strokes in a groove. We can do it with uh, three strokes. Even we can do it with four strokes. And just a little hint for uh, double bass triplets, with this technique you can do triplets including your slave foot very tight and being certain of yourself.
So what is this? Yes, soil technique. It's a slide technique too. As all we know, uh, we slide our foot on the pedal while we are doing swivel technique. I have a separate video about uh, this technique, so I will not dig into this too much. Uh, just I will try to show you some basics as I played in the previous motions. and importing the slave food and making triplets. This is not an exact slide, but I think it's important to combine that motion with other slide motions. It's like heel-toe technique, but you hit the pedal on your second stroke again with your toe instead of your heel, like some heel-toe players do. With working separately to these techniques, you will see that you start to combine them automatically. If your muscles know uh, three of these feelings, they will automatically adapt and play. 
Sometimes later you will not think about which slide technique you are doing uh, to play the grooves that you need. As you see, my foot is moving in three dimensions. Left to right, back to front, up and down. Maybe you will be much more good on doing one of these dimensions. But be sure that the other motions will be very helpful for your main slide technique. So try to improve all of them and you will find your own technique of slide motion. So see you in the next video, which will be about double bass fields.